For the sake of your name, O Lord, give me life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Today's Mass is being offered for Donita Gemelli. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, our creator, we give thanks to you who alone have the power to impart the breath of life as you form each of us in our mother's womb. Grant, we pray, that we whom you have made stewards of creation may remain faithful to this sacred trust and constant in safeguarding the dignity of human life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. All the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the children of Israel out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, you shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. David was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned for 40 years seven years and six months in Hebron over Judah, 33 years in Jerusalem over all Israel and Judah. Then the king and his men set out for Jerusalem against the Jebusites who inhabited the region. David was told, you cannot enter here the blind and the lame will drive you away. Which was their way of saying, David cannot enter here. But David did take the stronghold of Zion, which is the city of David. David grew steadily more powerful, for the Lord of hosts was with him. The word of the Lord.
My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Once you spoke in a vision, and to your faithful ones you said, On a champion I have placed a crown. Over the people I have set a youth. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand upon the sea, his right hand upon the rivers. Faithfulness and mercy shall be with him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said of Jesus, He is possessed by Beelzebul. And by the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. 
But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, he has an unclean spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Abortion is an awful thing that is a part of our history. And it's one of the most awful things that we've ever legalized in the course of our human history. It is so evil. It is so bad, we can't even imagine how bad it is. Think about it, killing a baby inside a mother's womb, we are supposed to be protecting kids, right? We can really feel afraid when we confront this issue, but Jesus tells us today that really we don't need to be afraid of Satan because Satan is an idiot. He's already against himself. And he will not succeed in the long run. The devil will destroy himself. And really, he, <laughs> he's stupid. It's not going to work. He's not a threat to us. So we can thank God for that. Jesus drove out demons in his time. And the devil is still at work in the world. But his, he has already been defeated. When we think about babies in the womb... It helps us to understand how we need to behave. A baby can't do anything in its mother's womb. Does baby have a, a powerful influence though? Yes, the baby it, it does have influence just by the simple fact of its presence and of its life, it does have an impact. Even in the womb, the baby impacts all of us. And we would all grieve if the baby's lost before it's born, if it dies in the womb. It would be a loss that we would all have to face. Jesus, especially when we see Jesus in the Eucharist, does not say any words to us, doesn't do anything, but simply by Jesus' presence with us, we are all impacted. We are all influenced. He's with us in the tabernacle. That's like a, a kind of womb that Jesus is, is in. And he is present. And so it helps us to know how to behave. What we should do, what we should say. 
And the most important thing for all of us here that we can do, that we are doing right now, even as we are here, is being present. We are being present for each other. We are being a presence in the world as the church. This is like the womb that we are all in. Your cars are parked outside in the parking lot and that is a sign of your presence. It shows people in the world driving by that you're here, that you're here praying, that you're present. And that's a powerful influence that we should never forget. You are doing more good than you can imagine just by showing up. So thank you for your presence. Thank you for being here today. You are changing the world simply by your presence. Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention, that the Holy Spirit may help us to recognize the gift of different Christmas within the Christian community and to discover the richness of different traditions and rituals in the Catholic Church. We pray to the Lord. For Pope Francis, Bishop Sean, and all the church leaders, that they lead our secular society to open all hearts and minds to the will of God, no matter how many times he calls them. We pray to the Lord. our political leaders, that they heed the calling of God to build a culture of life beginning with natural conception to natural death. Pray to the Lord. For all the soldiers on active duty and the first responders, we pray to the Lord. For those who are being held hostage, we pray to the Lord. For men and women who open their hearts and minds to God's calling in their discernment to vocation in religious, priesthood, or marriage, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, we pray to the Lord. For world peace, we pray to the Lord. And for the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, We pray to the Lord. We remember Danita Gemelli, for whom this Mass is being celebrated. We pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-living God, we pray to you with confidence as we unite our poor prayers to the prayers of St. Jude, St. Joseph, and especially with the perfect prayer of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord, amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of us, holy church. Accept our humble offerings, O Lord of the living, and unite us to the perfect sacrifice of your Son, through whom you have made all creation new, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, Robert, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mass on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command informed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. With you, O Lord, is the fountain of life. And in your light, we see light.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Increase your love within us, Lord God. By the saving mysteries we have celebrated and bring people everywhere to respect your gift of human life. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.